Hi, my name is Salma Benawan, and today I'm going to be presenting the pre-release material for the Paper 2-1 in the May-June 2021. A system is required to record and count votes for candidates in school council elections. The voting system will allow for one representative to be elected from a tutor group. The school has between 28 and 35 students in each tutor group five-year groups named year 7 to year 11, and there are six tutor groups in each year group. So that's a total of 30 classes. Tutor group names are their year group followed by a single letter, 7a, 7b, etc. All students are allowed to vote in the system. Each student may only vote once for a representative from their tutor group in the election. Okay, as usual, write your program and your program should include appropriate prompts and validated on entry error messages and variables and constants and identifiers should have meaningful names. So in this video, we're going to complete task one. Task one says we're setting up the voting system to allow a tutor group to elect a representative. We're going to write a program to one, allow a tutor to enter the name of the tutor group, allow the tutor to enter the number of students in the tutor group, allow the tutor to enter the number of candidates in the election, maximum four candidates, allow the tutor to enter the names of the candidates and store them in a suitable data structure. So there are four inputs by the tutor. After that, we're gonna allow each student to input their vote or to abstain from voting. We're gonna count the votes for each candidate and count the student abstinations. When all the students have voted, we're going to display the name of the tutor group, the votes for each candidate, the name of the candidate who has won the election. If there's a tie for first place, we're going to display all the candidates with the equal highest number of votes. So in step one, we're going to start off by putting inputting three important pieces of data and validating them. So first, the tutor group is equal to input the tutor group and I'm going to be using a length check for validation. So while the length of the tutor group input is not equal to two error, you know, it has to be two characters, for example, 7a, 8g, etc. The second piece of input is the number of students in the class. So number of students is equal to int input. And we validate that according to a range check because the description said that classes should be between 28 students and 35 students. So while the number of students is less than 28 or it's greater than 35, that's an error. And finally, the number of candidates in the class. So each class has at least one candidate and maximum four candidates. So number of candidates is equal to int input how many candidates are in this tutor group. While the number of candidates is less than one or it's greater than four, that's an error. Those are the first three pieces of data to be input and validated. Once we've input them, we can move to step two. Step two is where we're going to initialize some data structures, okay, based on how many candidates are joining. So we're going to use a one dimensional array. It's called names candidate and it's equal to the empty string multiplied by the number of candidates. Okay, and we're also going to have votes. It's another one dimensional array to hold how many votes for each candidate. So votes is equal to, you know, initializing it zero times the number of candidates and abstain is a variable that's going to hold how many students have abstained from voting. Now we're ready for step three. In step three, we're going to input the names of the candidates using a for loop. So let's say there are two candidates in the class for a count and range from zero, repeating two times. Names of candidates of you know zero is equal to input the first name, then count is updated and we in input the second name. So if you've completed step one, two, and three as we described, Here's what you would see on the Python um, like interpreter screen. So type the tutor group, 8C for example. Please input the number of students. You can input 30, how many candidates there are to, and input their names. So step four is where each student either votes or abstains and we store their input. Okay, so it's a for loop and the range of the for loop is from zero to the number of students in the class, say for example 30. We're going to show them a message. Here are the names of the candidates. We need to use a, a for loop to show them the names of the candidates. So for i in range, here are the names of the candidates. And you can type 1 to vote for the first candidate, 2 to, type for, to vote for the second candidate. Or to abstain from voting, you can type 0. 
vote input equals int of input, so either they're going to type 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 to vote for a candidate or abstain. And of course, there is a validation. You know, if the input is less than 0 or it's more than the number of candidates, there's an error. You need to type either a number that represents the candidate or 0 to abstain. Finally, after we've taken the input, the vote input, then we can update our votes array. So if they've input 1 for the first candidate, votes of 0 equals votes of 0 plus 1. If they input 2 to vote for the second candidate, votes of 1 equals votes of 1 plus 1, etc. So this is the for loop that represents the 30 students voting for the candidates. Finally, step 5 is the last step. It's going to display the results of the voting, so we're going to print the tutor group name. We're going to run a for loop to print each candidate's name and how many votes that candidate got. And we're also going to print how many students abstained. We're also going to find the most number of votes, so we need to use a for loop. Once we have extracted what's the most number of votes, we use another for loop to see which students, which candidates had that number of votes and we can print them as the winners. Here's a sample output at the end of the program. For example, the tutor group is 8C. We have candidate Salma got 14 votes, candidate Jenna got 14 votes. The number of abstain votes is two because remember there's a total of 30 students. The this candidate is a winner, Salma, this candidate is a winner, Jenna, because they had the most number of votes. Thank you for watching the pre-release 2-1, task 1. Um, let me know in the comments how it goes for you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.